Friends, welcome back to The Homestead. Today, another important topic to talk about. I kind of touched on it before, but it is really developing a lot recently and with a lot of other people around the country, and that is insurance companies and how much of a scam they are. Let's talk about that. It is quite apparent that insurance companies are going after people. They're dropping coverage all over the place, mostly in a lot of rural areas. I believe these insurance companies are trying to crush those who live in rural areas and those who are still in the middle class. Premiums are skyrocketing for a lot of different reasons and insurance companies are pulling out of states and areas of states everywhere across the country. Here in Texas, there's been a massive pullout of companies like the one that we have, which is who I'm gonna talk about today, specifically State Farm. And you probably heard about these issues in California, Florida, and Texas, but states like Idaho and Colorado are also getting hit, including states like Massachusetts and Mississippi. Pretty soon, there are only gonna be a tiny number of states that you can live in and get a decent insurance for your home. That's what we're talking about today, house insurance and how crazy it's getting out there. I mentioned recently that my insurance company, who I've had for 20 years through multiple cars, multiple houses and apartments, so on and so forth, they want me to self-survey the property and look at the condition of it. They've never once asked me that before in 20 years. So when I tried to fight back and question their methods through my insurance agent, they came back with an even more harsh letter. They said I could get a roofing inspection and that roofer would determine whether I would have to replace my roof or not. My nine year old shingles that they're telling me are bad from just a picture. They also flew over my house with a drone and found that a part of my self-built stable portion of my barn, the roof had come off. Now I have to have that professionally repaired, although they may let me repair it myself to professional standards, since it is a self-built structure. On top of that, they added in to this last letter, which I received on Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve, a stipulation that I needed to have a plumbing inspection in my house, including all of this stuff, sewage and supply lines, even tile grout. I immediately emailed my agent and told him, go ahead, drop me, I'm done with you. But I'll tell you what, shopping around has been difficult for new insurance. There are hardly any insurance companies that will cover a structure in this part of Texas. We don't get hit by hurricanes. There's no wildfires over here, nothing. There are tornadoes but that rarely affects hardly anybody in this area. I think the insurance model is dying and they are desperate to keep their massive increasing profits stable or increasing. And they're dropping people for perceived extreme weather events. And you can look at the number of weather events that we've had over the last 50 years and track them and it's not any different. The frequency is not different. The intensity might be a little different, but the frequency is not. They're also choosing to drop coverage because of inflation and because of rising replacement costs for your homes. They built that in before, but the extreme rise in costs of homes right now is really eating into their bottom line or the increase they want in their bottom line. This is making coverage hard to find anywhere unless you live in a city. For us people out here in rural Texas, it's getting really, really challenging. Also, if you didn't know it, over the last 20 plus years, back to about the early 2000s, insurance companies are checking your credit and they are raising your rates based upon your credit score, all under the guise of risk. But when you have a mortgage and you have your insurance being paid out of escrow, then it's always getting paid. So I don't know what the issue is. This is why I want you to be incredibly financially stable because if something arises on your home or if your premiums rise, say you need a new roof right away, that's 20 grand right there on a modest size home. But what happens? What happens to you friends if your insurance company drops you and you have a mortgage still? Well, it's not pretty. If your insurance company drops you, you still have that mortgage, your lender will put what's called a forced based policy on your home. And that basically covers just them. It's up to you to try to go find new insurance for your house. And those mortgage lenders are only going to give you about 45 days to find new coverage. If you don't find 
new insurance coverage for your home and you still have the mortgage, they're gonna start potentially foreclosure proceedings on your home. So friends, do whatever you can. Live in a smaller home, buy a smaller home, live within your means, pay off your house now, do it now if you are country living. Because a lot of rural places are being deemed uninsurable. Like rural Idaho. It's very strange because of what? Fires that they occasionally have? They're just not gonna insure anybody anymore? It's ridiculous. Sure, you have a higher deductible, a higher risk policy if you live in an area along the coast of Florida or wherever, but Idaho, Massachusetts, Mississippi? I guess Mississippi along the coast, but interior Mississippi? Come on. And I just flew back and visited my family in Detroit this past week for the new year. All the houses that I see driving through Detroit that are dilapidated, people are still living in them, do all of them not have insurance? Potentially, but I don't think that's the case. So who is insuring them? Because I guarantee that those houses probably aren't paid off. Are insurance companies just waiting for people to get scared that they don't have insurance and move into a, a city now where you can get insurance on your home and they're gonna pack everybody in cities and then, you know, and maybe a company like BlackRock is just gonna buy up all the vacant land at really low prices, or not vacant, they're gonna buy it from people who are scared who are moving into the city. They're gonna steal it at basement prices. This is getting out of hand. I just read an article about a lady whose house burned down. She was crying, I think this was on X or TikTok, but she was bawling. She didn't look closely enough at her policy. She lived in suburban America, the house burned down, and they would not cover the cost to rebuild the house at all. They turned her down for a structure that completely burned to the ground. Her policy, oddly, was based upon what her house used to cost. Now, usually they increase those and then charge you accordingly per what the house is worth nowadays, but that was not what her policy was. It could have been related to something called an ACV policy, which is actual cash value. Now, I can get that type of policy on my roof. Now that State Farm doesn't want to insure my entire property because of the roof, I can only get an ACV policy from somebody else for the roof itself, not the rest of the structure or the contents inside. But make sure you know the difference between an ACV, actual cash value, and an RC, or replacement cost. Look into your policy, dig into it. Obviously, replacement costs are gonna have a much higher premium, but sometimes the ACV is all you can get. Friends, pretty soon I think a lot of people, many people, are gonna be left without insurance. So what you need to do right now is think about being your own self-insurer. Save money so that you can rebuild if something catastrophic happens. Or get some sort of catastrophic insurance and then have some extra set aside to be able to replace things. This industry is out of control. It's out of control with vehicles. It's out of control with homes, most certainly. But it's gonna be out of control with many other things. Of course, it's out of control with medical insurance as well. Save money. Be your own insurer if you can. I'm pretty irritated with this insurance company and I asked my friends on Facebook whether they had this issue with other companies. All of them piped up and said yes. Even my sister, whom is a vice president of a pharmaceutical research company and her husband is a well-known eye surgeon. So your status in life actually doesn't matter because their insurance company dropped them in Detroit or the suburbs of Detroit. Nothing happens up there in terms of natural disasters or anything. The occasional tornado, eh, maybe an ice storm, but that doesn't do much damage. And they dropped her. That's insane. Let me know if you've got stories like that. Leave them in the comment section below and let's try to figure out something that we can do together to fight against this insanity. I hope you have a beautiful blessed day. Now go check out this video right here, which is how we built that rainwater system. Take care. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.